I want to plug this shirt. It's a long shirt, and I have a long torso. Um, so long shirts. <laughs> Sponsored by. Yeah. All right. You guys ready to start the cast? Ladies and gentlemen, groupies That's and roadies of all kinds. Bandhouse podcast. I think you did drugs. I thought you were gonna blast. Oh, was that it? <laughs> the worst blaster. Sorry, Steven. Not gonna have it. You should put it in uh, post production. <laughs> That's my vote. Oh, he's younger there. Ladies and gentlemen, with us today, Dylan X, of course, you're Dylan, and our special friend, Matteo. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good. Thanks for how, having me. How's it being in uh, America? It's hot. Is it? Yeah. From Colombia, it's hot here. It's a little hotter, but it's really nice. It's good to be back. Nice. It's been a while. Nice. It's longer than I expected. Mateo's a married man. And I'm married now. You are actually married. Married in America. Oh, He's, dude, let's drink to that. He's got his, uh, and you, you, have a, you got a vasectomy, right? Yeah, but that was before the wedding. I, I know. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's just a separate. <laughs> he got married like last week. I know that like. He's had a vasectomy since Got married, what? got on the plane, walked right into the When did you AOR. get clip clip? In Columbia. How long ago? Like six, seven months ago. Did it hurt? No, it did not. Type. My balls swole a little bit, but uh, it was very <sighs> quick. It was actually, it took longer waiting like pre-surgery than the actual procedure. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, all right. It was 10 minutes. Beep, beep. So there'll be no... So, so you weren't asleep at all? No, no. They just uh, apply like local anesthetics and you are in one of those, how do you call it? Like the ones that... Stirrups. The, the stirrups, yes. And uh, that's it. Nice. So no little Mateos? No little Mateos. But what do they do? They just cut I know them. they snip your ne- vas deferens. Yeah, it's exactly. But like, deferens. how do they get there? What's a vas deferens? It's a little tube. It's a tube. It's a flesh tube. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Is exactly that the, the more you know? Yeah, that connects <laughs> your, uh, your testicles to your urethra. Just boop. That's deference. They just cut it. That's definitely <laughs> interesting. <laughs> well, so yeah. no kids. No kids, yes. So no little That's Mateos. No. I appreciate it, dude. I have to. Yes. Bad. That would not be a, good, a favor to we the can't. World. That'd be just so many people no, running around looking for addresses, I'm can't find them. Exactly. <laughs> imagine, imagine driving in that I world. I think there need to be more little insane Mateos. It took there. Mateo 40 minutes to get here, and he just told me he lives down the road. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd be... <laughs> the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. You or couldn't 10. even figure out, is this the house? Or is this is the number on the side of the house? Okay, come to Colombia, and I'll show you how... I would love to come there. to Colombia. Dude, okay, so we go back to high school no so how do we know each other Mateo you'd be so uncomfortable you and I actually no because Taylor and I, I have know. like a different story because I didn't know Taylor through you we had Miss Losey was like remember you used to have like six classes and then you had like a like a counselor but what that wasn't your counselor you went there once a week like a um, the homeroom but we didn't like call it that room, I've been like out that. of high school so long I don't even but remember like, yeah what's it yeah, Miss Losey was this tram or something they call it tram class <laughs> twist or something and we also had um <laughs> skip guitar club? class yeah guitar tech guitar tech Dude, yes, that. I love and that you class. played it nirvana style Michael. left-handed yes which is awesome we don't have any official left-handed uh, guitar players mateo played it like he's Hendrix. the first real left-handed po- guitar player mateo is, steven's a fake you, you play you play a right-handed guitar with your left hand yeah, yeah. so upside down for cool. legit yeah like the, the, the hendrix way. the hendrix way yeah with dick dale does Dick Dale do that too? Dick Dale does it. Yeah, dude, Big Dick Dick Dale does it. If Big Dick Dick Dale does it, then you got to do it too. Big Dick Dick. Didn't you meet Dick Dale? No, I just heard. Was he your? Is he still alive? Yeah, he's he's still. I don't know what that means. Serve guitar. Thought you were having a seizure, like a stroke. It's like Hi. end of podcast. No, so the SG. My, my face just went numb. I want to take us to the SG. So I had an SG that I think I sold to Dylan. No, or you had an you SG sold, sold to me. it to me. So I, like when we were kids and we were just getting on the guitars, dude. We were playing guitars. You had Epiphone, this SG you didn't want. SG Cherry Red or whatever. I played it for a few gigs. 
And then, and then I, maybe I, my I, first gig I played it, and it was all out of tune because I didn't know you had to stretch the strings first. New guitar players, stretch, stretch your, strings. your strings, meaning pull them. Just look it up on YouTube. I don't got to explain it, but you got to look it up. I did not even know how about you, that until my first gig. Mateo, how, it do took you, me a while. how do you stretch your strings? What do you do? You tune, you mean you tune the guitar, you put the strings, and then you pull them. Oh, you do that. I what do, do that you too. Do? That's what I do. Yeah. I don't pull the whole yeah. string. I think it's bad for each end of the string. It mm-hmm. makes it mm-hmm. break easier. Yeah. So you do little pinches all the way down. Yeah, I do oh, that. Oh, really? That's yeah. my second okay. phase. What second I do phase. is I, I pull it. Yeah, but you don't like... Okay, no. Not, not, not so you're literally phase. just yanking... So I do it like this. Exactly I, do zero, I, do. Yeah. I do zero fret, one fret, two fret, and I kind of do it like that. Oh, and that's then, cool. And then I do... That's well, a good that, one. Yes, that, yeah. that I do. I do this method. Like little pinches? No. Yeah. So that SG yeah. is in a little storage room in a neighborhood called Belen Aliadas in Medellin, Colombia. All right. It doesn't sound for shit. Right. But it has I, what I think is your name and Dylan's. Yeah, right. we signed, we all signed, signed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you play shows with him? Yeah, and drag with my... with. <laughs> Yeah, the tell S- us about the, tell S- us about the shows. The, I'm the so guys. glad that happened. That guitar deserved a hell of a life, and it's had one so far. Yeah, what? Tell us about a you gig. You gotta give it to some young punk, punk kid. Yeah. yeah. So my first story of that was that it was out of tune. I remember that now because I didn't stretch the That's strings. Story number one. That's so then I one. owned it for a while. Yeah. And, I, and that was like my first. I can't even imagine you with an SG. You're an Epiphone that, Les Paul. I had it. Well, bust. I had a, a, a black Epiphone that my dad had. Yeah. Just sitting around. Yeah. So I played on that. Yeah, he fucked it up really bad. Yeah, because you play with everything, like all the, the tension and the balance. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and then I bought your SG, and that's like what I really learned to play electric guitar on, like how to do like rhythm guitar was on that SG. That's tight. And then I got the Les Paul, which I've had since. It was the Les Paul for me because it had the two little. Yeah, it had the cutaways. It had the cutaways both for his, his, level his for, way. So for he me, that guitar. was a game changer. Our first bit of Bandhouse. Um, virality if you will it was only like tens of thousands of tiktokers but it was us saying that if you don't have a gibson les paul then you're shit and people got so mad dude it was so they, funny I bet they did. and it like awakened this troll inner troll in me i have an epiphone i know and so does steven and he's the main he's the main the antagonist antagonist in this whole thing and his only freaking guitars are epiphone les pauls Huh. I need so, a, I need a good Gibson. Yeah, yeah. Gibsons are just the shape of the headstock is sharper. Yeah, uh, give me yours. What do you want for it? Uh, a million dollars. Yeah, my that's da- a hell of a guitar. My daddy bought it for yeah, me, so it's the mm, black it's beauty. special. What do you want for it? You want Your soul. For it. I know you need money, but not that much. <laughs> I'm rich <laughs> now, dude. I have. You've been doing a ton of gigs. I have fourteen hundred dollars. Whoa! Oh my God! Wait, wait. I don't have that. Fourteen. I'll never hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. <laughs> and this pay. And it feels I mean, that's, good. That's a lot more than zero. And if I wanted to go get food right now, I could. If I wanted to well, pay we, some bills, we I stop, could. Well, we I ate too much McDonald's right before this, Mateo. FYI. Oh yeah, he had TMM. Well, you're sleeping in your own room. Can I do laundry at your? You're sleeping in your own room. <laughs> of course, of course, like, you can do laundry. Figuring out the logistics of my evening. Can I? Wash yeah, myself and of take course. a shower. So like, you want to hear a story about that? I yeah. got yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. got beaten down by the cops. Uh, yeah. Tight. This is a good way to start. Playing that guitar. Tight. At like 16. So I was Whoa. doing drag. And as you might suspect, Colombia is a very Catholic, traditional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosary wearing kind yeah, of country. Dude, oh. got some rock star So if stories. you're doing shit like that, if you're walking around or playing music naked or in your boxer shorts or in drag queen, like a yeah. nightgown. Yeah. People are not going to take it lightly. Yeah. So that happened. It's fucking cool, man. That happened. And I it survived. Also, oh you, yeah. And how I, were you? Did you you were, you were you lived? Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. They good. don't beat you bad bad enough. Part of him so survived. That it hurts, yeah. But not part that. Part of him survived. Not that. And that's the part we're talking with today, actually, which is convenient. And I also made it with <laughs> that guitar because that was the only guitar I had into a oh. festival in the city. So I played I, my biggest show. What I've played like my biggest show was within the city. It was a festival, and it was like the like the. Elimination round, oh, like cool. qualifying like battle round. of the bands, battle of the bands, kind of yeah, thing. that's fucking but it was sick. like like it was citywide, so it was like ten thousand. What? what was the name of the band? It was a death metal band. Okay, Consequence. <laughs> well, that's the only genre that guitar ever played. That's so Consequence yeah. and and some very very punk. How kind far of in the competition did you make it? We got eliminated because I scratched a lot of stuff and I hit somebody with it. 
<laughs> with the with the SG? Yes. Oh. Wait, tight. you scratched stuff? Well, I I painted stuff on my. What did you paint? Can I say? Naval? No, I said God is gay. Oh, God is gay. Oh, it said okay. God is gay. That's you tight. Think, and, that's, uh, that's very punk, man. Yeah, no, that's tight. And then tight. you hit somebody with the SG? Yeah. Dude, you're a fucking punk rock star. No, I was just a little kid looking for attention. That's what it was. That's what a punk, that's what a punk rock that's is. That's exactly the same thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, that, that was all when I was like 16, 17. Right after that's I right. came back from the States. Right when you came Dude, back. Dude, this whole time, I keep thinking someone's breathing in it, but I'm watching you guys and you're not breathing. It's that fan and that uh, microphone. <laughs> Oh, you did it. Look at your magic juice. Now we have to restart. All right, Bandhouse Podcast. Get the blast this time. Wait, really? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, you can go. Ladies and gentlemen of all sexes and genders, Bandhouse Podcast. That's the one and only Dylan O'Connor. Are you really the podcast? I'm sorry, I worked. Well, now listen. Uh, oh, fucking yeah! That oh, was so clean. You can hear Steven's, the fan, but we gotta have the Steven's fan. Steven's lyrics, man. I love that guy. What's your middle name? What it, it's? Do you want to roast his Dylan lyrics Mar right here? Dylan Maria oh, O'Connor. My first segment is the roasts. Dylan's going to roast every member of the band house. Oh, I am? The next segment is Going Beginner. The next segment is Beer with the Boys. Then we got Rocks Talks and we got Music Associations. I came up with all of that while you guys were getting beer. So. All right. And they're all good. So and if is, they're not... What segment are we on? Let's start. Um, let's go... Uh, what's the one we just said there? We were just talking about. Roasts. The roasts. Do you want to save that for somebody. later? Yeah, let that happen naturally. Let's let that happen. Okay. So, but Steven's <laughs> lyrics. I uh, like roasting people when they're in the room, which is why I keep I like, I'm going to come to the podcast and then nobody ever comes. It's just me and Taylor and Steve. Like, then you can roast the two of us then. Mm -hmm. I'm, we're Ow. pretty roastable, I'd say. Oh, yeah. You guys are pretty roastable. I'm like... Everybody is, yeah. but like, I know you guys It's will. also really fun to do it behind their back, though, I found out. <laughs> and Steven's the main... I want keep wanting to say proprietor. The main aggregate <laughs> is the main yeah. subjugate. He's the dude that wants to talk shit. It so does. Talk shit about his lyrics. It would be really funny. I, I mean, Steven and I, I think, enjoy each other very well. Well, that's why now I think if you talk shit, he'll know it's from love. But well, before, we do that. You We've really been doing that other. for a long time. All right. The next segment is Going Beginner. If you had to pick a new instrument to learn. So what is that what this is? That's if what you, you said. You're like, a new instrument. Yeah. Oh, I want to talk it. about the journey to a new instrument. Cause uh, well, yeah. I mean, I, I want to play a new instrument and I'm lucky enough like we are all we're all guitar players to know well and also just know music well enough to be able to pick up an instrument and yeah you yes. do well teaching yourself because you've done yeah. it with several other instruments so i was thinking about like okay what do i want to invest in and like learn to play this year and like saxophone is a great idea uh i played my first instrument was trumpet keep talking i'm gonna move so the fans I, so I we could, get it i could do trumpet i yeah, could lean should. back into trumpet, I think trumpet would be uh but then like i've always wanted to learn how to play sitar i think sitar is fucking cool uh, it's a drone instrument, which I'm all about. A drone instrument, you know what I mean? Still drones yeah. on. And I on. really do. Um, I don't know, Mateo, if you wanted to learn a new instrument this well, year. Well, there's one that, not this year, because I'm probably not going to take on that instrument ever, but it's the Hurdy Gurdy. Hurdy -gurdy. Oh, the but I don't think they make those left handed to begin with. That's probably but, a good point. So I have the a little left story. I went to Tennessee for the first time in my life last year, uh -huh. or anywhere in the South. Yeah. And we got, we're, we're driving through the Blue Ridge Mountains and um, there was no internet or nothing. Just every now and then some radio station just, you know, picked up. And I heard what, not, what I now know it's bluegrass. Yeah. And that, that was like an epiphany. Oh yeah. Bluegrass is sick. Because I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of country. I love folk. Yeah. But country I'm very picky But then you get with. bluegrass. But then like, I, oh. I heard that and I was like, what is this? This is... Like 1930s metal. Yeah, it's this fast. Is, it's it's fast. fast as fuck. It, it talks. Like, that's the best. But here's it. It's like it's like 1930s true Norwegian black that. metal. Somebody, here's, here's somebody not from the culture uh, learns what bluegrass is later as an adult and identifies it as it's like 1930s well, metal. I, it, it, I love that. It talks. It's super fast. It talks about like ghosts and apparitions <laughs> in the middle of the fucking night. That's in true. the in, in the like, and fuck the, the government, which metal can do. It's super like. 
anar- like anarchist. Yep, yep. This yep. is so it's, interesting. It's absolutely metal. It's absolutely I love that metal. Per- I love that perspective. My That's take on so bluegrass different. is it's one of the few genres, not few, but one of many genres that you have to only play that genre to be really good at it. Yeah. So the instrument is mandolin for me. Oh, mandolin. Good I am learning choice. mandolin. You I am should. learning mandolin. That is the that, 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 that great fits choice. Your energy. I feel like you playing yes. mandolin works pretty well. Dude, bluegrass is something I've but never it does, played. It does have a, never it, it does have a bit it. of a story because I heard bluegrass and I was like, oh, I got to learn something about this. Yeah. yeah. And mandolin, I think it would be the one for me. Yeah. So mandolin. trumpet, mandolin, or did you have other ones? Sitar? Uh, I need to decide, dude. I, I want to learn them all. Like, I want to play violin. Mm-hmm. Like fiddle. Yeah, violin. the fiddle would be tight. That's a really, uh, really big commitment. Yeah, but if if, if you give really so is good, trumpet though. If you get really good at that instrument, it's just any brass. Cool. It's mm-hmm. quite a commitment. I, that's why with. I'm thinking saxophone because I have one. But with your uh, diet, and I've started. The, I've already done the beginner phase. I did. I did practice every day for 30 days, and then immediately never touched it again. But here's the thing. I've I I have a bu- uh, buddy that I went to school with, and he plays for the Philharmonic in Medellin. What? And he is a trombone player. He will not okay. drink alcohol. Yeah. He will not eat like avoid certain oh, foods twenty four yeah. hours before. He will not you know consume any any smoked products. Real pro. Tobacco. Real pro. He's. I mean, the guy. That's that's you know they're good. If they're that's doing his that job. Shit. Every that's single tight. day he's you know he's doing that. He's thinking and, about that. And he's very committed to. So that would take like a different level, I would think. Yeah. However, yeah. it's nice. Trumpet. The Philharmonic, though, man. I'm barely in the Steve Harmonic, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not even close to Please the Steve Harmonic. Please leave that that deep silence in. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Have a fun button. Uh, well, we didn't put any clips on. Yeah, I mean, you can. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, can't say none of that, can you I? Need, you need some clips like a Mexican radio station. Oh, God, yes. Okay, give me like, some right now. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos con más música. Si estamos todos, todos, pi, 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 pi. That's pretty good. I'll and add then, some sounds then, in. And then he starts the tuba playing. Oh. Let me do the drums. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Mexican drummers are metal drummers. There's in the they're like going in different like time signatures and stuff, or metric modulating through the beat. Sick. And then you've got your rock star accordion players. Can you grab me another one? I remember going to Mexico and they were like the accordion's like the guitar, electric guitar here. It's like the accordion. Yeah. We still laugh at it like clowns play. Dude, no, no, no. Accordion is a baller instrument. It is. It's got to be the hardest one. Ooh, I picked that one. Accordion? Yeah, it's I picked that one. I could see that. Hard. I know. Hard. Each country has its difference. So if you, you, know, you know what I found too hard is I took bagpipe lessons. Oh, too hard. That? No, dude, that too would be too hard. much. I took bagpipe lessons before I played guitar. Bagpipes are a way of life. It's a wind instrument. Dude, that is a very cool and tough instrument. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go back, back, back. back. Okay, I'm new sure my answers. neighbors will fucking love Okay, real that. quick. Easy answer. <laughs> Big giant drone pounding through Capitol Hill. My easy day. answer would be saxophone because I've already started exactly. it. Mandolin's like a guitar, so that's an easy answer. Sitar's like a stringed instrument, so it's yeah. hard, but it's still easy. Trumpet would be uh, harder. Then I say bagpipe. Okay, a melodica. No, trumpet wouldn't be harder. Like, be you like think sitar is harder than trumpet, you think? Oh yeah. Well, I already have. The I have no idea. Well, sitar is really complicated because it's like how do you call those guitars? That well, there's 19 have, strings and, they have and their neck, 13 their neck is like of them are just scoops. drone strings. And the scoop and it's, the, the it's, neck is scooped. Every note is playing harmonica. I'm trying to do both of you guys at once, I know, he, and it's working. So that's cool about the scoop. No, damn it! You said the scoop. Yes. Fuck! I already fucked it up. <laughs> but yeah. what is the scoop? Scalloped frets. That's all I, don't I can. Know. So the 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 neck and okay. it's got like little. Every, scallop every, frets. Okay, I don't know. Oh yeah, that, that's what they're called. I was just guessing, but I was. Yes, yeah, well, we call them scallops. There, there's a. It's it's completely Baked. raised off of any. Yes. You're never touching string to wood, mm-hmm. ever. And the frets itself themselves. Right, are, like a sitar is what you're saying. Yes. Oh, I'm following you now. Not exactly scalloped. It's not scalloped. Those are like. It's just describing it as yeah. sort of scalloped like. Yeah. Scalloped versus like. Because the frets, well, the metal things are like. Hoops. Above. They're like hoops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, hoops, yes. They're, and you can bend it a lot. Yeah, there's, there's 19 strings. I think 13 are drone strings. And then there's only one string you actually play notes on. Okay, but that it's sounds just, hard, but like to me, I could never... That you move... I could never... Hey. I could never play the trumpet. It's So I could get the satire before that. You could, de- you could definitely... <laughs> 
You can just get that EHX. No, you gotta you gotta give yourself your mouthpiece. Ooh. Oh, you really know how to do that. Yeah, I played trumpet uh -huh. for years. I was a good trumpet player. How do you do it? I had perfect tone. And I had perfect tone when I was that young because I used my diaphragm really yeah. well. And I think that's why I can do the fucking stuff. Yeah, that's why you're louder and sin. Loud mm -hmm. and like naturally project. Like you can kind of just keep it tight. Plus a traumatic childhood, you were probably always really... <laughs> <laughs> Trumpet and domestic <laughs> violence. It's a it's a it's, a, for it's the a win. winning combination Yay. for a great. Lane Staley, vision. Chris Cornell. I'm sure they had some similar I things. I don't think Lane had any domestic violence. Lane was from, he was Lane was from Bellevue. It was Bellevue brat. So his yeah, dad, his dad was an admiral. Ooh, so he probably uh. but the, he just got into that hair hair. He sure did. The hair of the win. He went into the grain. Grind. Okay, so brush away. That's a good segment, though. Which, I like that. Which one? Just pretend we're gonna learn new instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, assume you said we're it actually going to do now it. Now I have to pick one and actually. I do want to learn it. I do want to learn it. Okay. Oh, beer boys just was a segment where we just chug and feel good about hanging out beer for a second. Beer boys. You guys want to chug a beer together? I don't want to. You don't have it. to finish I'll it. Just chug. It. Just okay. I mean, cheers. I'm using the word chug. Cheers, boys. Um, cheers, beers, boys. Cheers, boys. Beer, cheer, boys. Cheers, boys. Thanks for coming on the. Thank uh, you for the having pod. me here. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. You're my rotten soldier. You're my oh, we're, sweet we're cheese. Drinking this? Okay. My sweet cheese. My fun time boy. Oh, you got. Oh, I'm not doing that. <sighs> you just go to your happy place. You guys have problems. Yay! And we embrace that. Tell me this is not a G. <laughs> it's not a G. <laughs> That is an instrument I would play this. I'm I've said that. F sharp for the last 14 years, and the other day I did it and it was wrong. And so I was like, oh, it's G this whole time. But so it's still F sharp. F sharp. That's an instrument I would learn to play this Amponia. I don't know how you call it in English. Is that what, the jug? No, it's not a jug. It's like a bunch of pipes. And it's, it's uh, organ? It's Latin, uh, no, it's Latin American. And it goes, it goes yeah. like this. Pan flute. It's called the Oh, yeah, the pan flute. Oh, yeah, the. It's banders, and you can use three and four. There's people that play a bunch. It's super complicated. Yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> Good blow. <laughs> That's tight, dude. I like that. It's what it is. Chance, come on up here. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the band house dog. <laughs> Chance, That's he matches the, the couch. You'll forget he's here oh. for in a second. He's, he's a good dog. I like Chance. Good wolf. He'll blend right in. Okay. Um, I want to hear some more stories about your crazy tours in no not medellin. tours not tours because you can only you, the thing is you cannot do tours what do you mean we did really well in medellin okay we did really well in medellin because we were i guess we were a little different and we kind of got uh how do you say it? like on the bandwagon what was it conviction what was the band name Con consequence consequence Mis misspelled it was oh, how's misspelled. it spelled okay so the actual we'll put word on the, is, the actual word is spelled with a q with a c right c Oh, yes. and so we use a Q at the end. Consequence. 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 Yes. Like sequence. Consequence. Like sequence. I, That's tight. When I, no, it's not. When, <laughs> when I got no. there. No, it's not. Something a 16-year-old kid comes up with, which is fine. That's great. People hey. love that shit. Hey. I love when 16-year-old kids Me and Dylan come. were in a so, band called... Delusion, which we did exactly not fucking where I was pick. Going. We, were, we, were, we were doing a battle of the bands in Puyallup. Yeah. You were around. This was sophomore year. Yeah. Right? We were at sophomore year. Uh, it was at PHS, and we we got the good guy, you know, guitar kids together that could you know finish a song as a band, and, and <laughs> Jesus <laughs> goddamn Christ! You guys should do this next time RJ does one of his thirty-five minutes story. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I stop and come back with a key change, oh hell dude, that, yeah! That, dude. Remember that battle of the bands we played, and because, it was one of the most fun shows. They had Allison it was, was there. It was hype, dude. That's when she got hot for me. We <laughs> actually, I got, a, I got, a, I dated one of those girls later on too. They got hot for us. I dated three of the dude. Girls if we could put the audience. picture up of oh. you, the curtains, the curtains closing. Oh, I think so. Oh, I think I dated four. Then no, I never. never four of those women. There were three or four of the girls in the audience I ended up dating, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. At one time or another. And you know, and you know why, Taylor? It's because of the eyebrow. Because... 
Oh. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. I don't know that sound, he's but I will sample it. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's hoarse. Dylan uh, grew up on a farm <laughs> in right. Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> that was old Oakland farms. It's, it's very rural. He's got an Oakland horse that hangs out with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a fucking horse from the block. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, that show, you remember we went on a little too long? Mm-hmm. Or like other people went on too long. They dropped the curtain on us. Yeah, and they cut the sound. The fucking show. They cut the sound. I was like, "Don't that's stop really, playing." That's really badass, though. Yeah, we uh, it was. Just go, it was, go. There's photos of the curtain dropping, and we it, threw condoms was, out too. It was a, it was a chaotic. Hold on, we got to go back moment because we were there gonna was, throw the condoms. First of all, this has got people that that we we peripherally have still kind of known like Sean Dane was there Dane who on this podcast yeah we've talked about it a little bit Dane and Justin yeah. Justin was there too he's in that band Oh he was Yeah Justin Sean and Dane and Stefan played That was Sanctity yeah. and Silence So there's a bunch of bands that at the Nisha. time we all knew of Kevin Brady Was he there? He was the drummer of for Sanctity oh, and Silence oh, for that Brandon oh, right. was Brandon. the singer they Brandon, Brandon they did a great job Yeah they won they really so. did win. They did a really good. We well, got second or third. They so were solid, cool. man. Sean had them doing some a little ahead of their. And the, yeah, their time. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, ahead of their pay grade. Yes, Here's the age the group for sure. There's something that was is still a wish of mine mm-hmm. by coming here, especially now that I'm able to stay. Yeah, it's that's so uh, making exciting. Music here because I've discovered that in where I used to live, it's very sectioned. Mateo's you know? got good songs, man. This is the punk people, this is the metal people, this is the rock people, or the indie people. Oh yeah, people. it's this less the, like that here, probably. Over here, there is just like a melting pot. It's less so. People from Everybody all over Everybody likes the place. different things. Yeah, like, for real. They're not super closed mm. about it. You know, they're not super like, uh, divisive about yeah, it. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm I'm a punk, or I'm a metal dude, or oh, mm-hmm. I do trap, so I don't hang That's out. True. I don't, I, so I don't play with this kind of people. You know, this, I, at this stage, I feel like we weren't necessarily like this as kids. So this is no, Seattle we versus but now, Medellin. But now yes. you're you're at a, I don't know even, if it's an age group thing, but the here. the attachment to identity isn't as there anymore. So like, Dylan? it's not like if oh, you're a, if you're a metal guy, you have to hate <laughs> Taylor Swift. Or if, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. or if you're a grunge guy, it's like, oh, well, you just, you don't like any modern music because it's not good. Which is like, no. I'm probably the most uh, closed off, divisive musician. You are here. Yeah. And I still will admit oh, that yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day, Allison's like, God, I I know the lyrics are bad and the song isn't that great, but I love it. And I was like, it's terrible and I hate it. And she goes, Well, just give it a chance. I'm like, No, I know it's gonna be good. Yeah. But that that's because I hate it. When you hate something, it's because it's. It's probably it's good. You want to change for me when I, when something that moment that opened my eyes. I know you guys have talked a lot of shit on Oasis. Oh yeah, I we'll went, get him. I wasn't I wasn't hungry. I was seeing the the lead singer. He's now a solo artist from Oasis. Liam okay. Gallagher. And afterwards, it Liam. was Dua Lipa. Okay, Dua I was Lipa. Like, okay, I'm just gonna stay. I've heard that name before. Yeah, she's very famous. Very famous. I was like, I'm just gonna stay. You know, I'm already here. Mm-hmm. Let's just finish. This is the last artist. Okay, so this girl gets on the stage and she just owns it. In the same way that Liam Gallagher, the rocker from 20 years ago, who's done this for a living for God knows how long, yeah. is doing it. And she doesn't have to play what I've always considered, you know, to be my stuff. Sure. But the way she just... But it was you know, top tier. ...portrayed herself there, the way she sure. just handled business up there, it was like, okay, no, no this needs, you know... She another, did art. I need to open my ears a little more because mm-hmm. maybe I can find some things mm-hmm. that, you know, will enrich that's my own good, musical that's experience. That's a good story. Exactly. And you know? I, I'm trying to remember when... That happened for me because eventually it happened too. I was like, "Oh, there's a lot to be learned in a lot of this." Yeah, there's like, good music is always going to be around. Somebody's going to be doing it. It won't always be popular. Yeah, but does, it doesn't necessarily mean popular music has to suck. Like it just I takes do, one for me. I think it waxes and wanes. I think a lot of those early two thousands. That was a weird time. Well, uh, they were figuring out the grid and the auto tune, and yeah. now we can listen back, and it sounds like fake CGI. T Pain, remember yeah. T Pain? T Pain. Oh God. T Pain makes more money making. T Pain's playing chill. video games now. All than of these he does. people make more money doing anything but music. He's Jay-Z, twitching it up 50, right now. Fifty seven. Well, yeah, well, music owns multiple. I like that though. I think music Rihanna. should be free. I think music should be free, and you build your brand and you sell shit that and people want to pay for. It. That it's less. Yeah, like music I mean, kind of has now. to be free now That's because of the way. It is. Yeah, so that is what it is. Yeah, it, it, like the that is free, but unfortunately because of that, this is what you were complaining about. So you can feel two things. Yeah, I definitely you have feel to, two things. You have to be an entire Machine. media company. Yeah, 
and go manic twice a so day. So it's like it kind of does yeah. pollute the art a little bit because like, oh, well, now uh, this isn't working. There's anything. no middleman, which everyone's... Yeah, all it's only a, stoked the about music is a piece of a brand rather than standing on its own. Yeah, which isn't good. Can it right. stand? Okay, so can any art form truly to this day stay stand on its own two feet? Though, if you think about it, if you're, if you're doing good. visual, I think it prompts artists, arts, I think it prompts artists to be it does real to be real. But right? they also if you're bend. really good, then you take that as a challenge to be right. very real. right. Uh, and one of the things I th I believe about comedy and music is you can tell when somebody is faking it immediately. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -mm. No, I faked that whole last gig. Nobody knew. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, you're not. You weren't writing any of those songs. <laughs> right. That's what I mean. When, when you're, you're making doing... your content, yeah, you can't fool anybody. Right. You have to good is good. Mediocre is mediocre, and, and just about everybody gets to a same like, yeah, that was okay, and everybody knows it's just yeah. okay. Yeah. But when it's good, you go, fuck, oh, that was fuck. cool. Yeah, when they that was like a off. magic trick. It's like a spell. I right? saw Avenged Sevenfold a few times in my life. I've seen Avenged Sevenfold, but I didn't care for him any of the times except for when I saw him open for Metallica in like 2016 mm. or 15 or something. And it was, he was so in tune. His voice was so in tune. I was like, I was like. I had staged up in my singing, so my ear was a little bit better and listening for pitchy, like pitch and stuff. And he was so gritty. Ah! He wasn't not that gritty, but he was singing. You know how he does. Very gritty. Not like ah! no, not, not that gritty, but he's like you know, you know what he sounds like. You know what it is. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't believe how in tune he was for the whole show. And then two like days later, he got like vocal surgery. Oh man. So now I don't know what to think. But like the guy from Buck Cherry. That guy had to do it too. Huh? Whoa! It was all the blow, dude. His voice. Hey, come on! Yeah, that's like that's all he ever sang. Like, I tell you how to start on the star. I start on so so much more. Drinking and smoking and fucking and doing nothing. That's what I, I like think to call this whole early podcast is for Taylor to yell. Things that's what I call early before. pregnancy rock. Early, early pregnancy, pregnancy rock. rock. Buck Cherry, Five Finger Death Punch. Why Breaking is it pregnancy? Benjamin. Because it usually happens, you know. People that listen to it usually get, you know, have had kids at very early ages and not planned. Really? Oh, yeah. Pregnancy it's rock. Like red state rock. Like red state county. Oh, that's oh, deep. We're talking about I've it. never heard of it. See, that's that. what I mean. You got to expose yourself to people from outside your culture because they fucking see things. It's, it's that, it's that uh, Henry David Wallace. What the fuck was that guy's name? It's like, uh, 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 he's about the, the fish doesn't know it's swimming in water. Oh, oh it's the myth yeah. of the cave. What, what's the yeah. guy's name? I don't know, but it's the myth of the cave. Hen Foster Wallace. David Foster Wallace. There you go. He's a philosopher. And he David has this Philosopher thing. Wallace. He has this thing about two fish are swimming along, and an older fish swims by and says, nice water today. And when they swim by, one, of the other, one fish says to the other fish, what the hell is water? <laughs> That's it. Remember what we were talking about uh, when I was at your place, about British rock, the difference... Yes. Between British rock and yeah, American rock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is the... Di there's a lot of differences. I was telling you, Dylan, there's a lot of differences. I have some hot takes me, about that I am topic. neither British nor am I... Um, right. We're too close to it. I'm American, but I'm... You know, now you are. No, 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 no. I was American before. Not I was, yet. Before You've I, always been American. Yes, because... Since we met you. No, because... Before that? is American, well, too. Because... Yeah, yeah, well, okay. We, All right. He, he, Politics, he was like, here first. I see what and he's saying. a lot either of people way. who look like us show that. And they're anyway, like, we should kill I all see these, what he's, what we should kill to, all these people. Say, I see what he was what saying. What I'm trying to say is I'm neither from here nor from there. Yeah. So to me, British rock, for example, you yeah. know, something like Oasis is not something that you're going to compare to like a Sevenfold. Yeah. Nor will you compare it to a band like Trivium or even something similar, Stone Temple Pilots oh, or even yeah. Jerry Control himself. Yeah. Yeah. However, the literal, the literal... That is the only way we're ever referring to Jimmy... Jared, himself. Jimmy, hey, Jerry Cantrell. Hey, he's Mr. Pocket. Cantrell. I'm sorry. Is Jerry Cantrell You know, like himself. Jerry Cantrell himself. Who are your favorite guitar players? Oh, Jimi Hendrix, Cantrell. Eric Clapton, and... Jerry Cantrell himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, if you listen to David Bowie, if you listen to you the, know, the, the guys episode. from The Kinks, if you listen to um, all these people that uh, the Brit... Like, all the Brits, they have... a literary tradition in their lyrics they're lyricists uh you know american right. rock musicians are musicians Interesting. Okay. well hmm. they're composers the lyrics i've always are there yes hmm. however the component the main component that's what i was gonna say is i've never been american rock and roll what is it it's I, a good riff 
I assumed a riff because that's my whole entire existence. Exactly. That's the whole reason for this the podcast. Brits, that's Steven. That's everything. The Brits, they don't you, you give them, hard. You know, Mar- that's RJ's Mar- position. Mar- from this mitz. He well, I tell you what. It, from I Byron tell you what it is, and, and man. Shakespeare. I, I, why does it? Why does it? Why is a dirty blues riff in the United States do that thing to your nervous system that a riff in Britain okay, well, doesn't? And I'll tell you what it exactly, is. Exactly. Exactly. The presence of uh, African American culture bred right in at the bottom right. of blues of a, music. Of a, and of if our, you think about it from an, like an anthropological place, you weren't as a as a black man a f- few years ago. You weren't allowed to talk. You could yeah. only sing in the fields. Right. That was it. Yeah. So the words don't mean shit. You That's can only not sing. That's true. That's not true at all. Were yeah, you really dude, no, no, no. mainstreamed, it, allowed to talk the way you wanted to talk and do whatever? No, you want? I'm no. saying that the words of those spirituals. Oh, are, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that the words don't mean shit. I'm saying oh. what you had to say, you know, to the powers that be meant I know nothing. what you mean. And and B.B. King can say with his words, but B.B. King can also just go. Because I can tell you right now, all I want is a little bit of love. I got. But that doesn't I got, sell. I got Taylor this thing. But if you yeah, have B.B. King sing, all I want, you know, if he does it in his thing, just a little bit of love, you know, if he does his thing, then he means it. I think that B.B. King live at Sing Sing is, is the, probably the best That's what the internet recorded says too. live music. That's what the video is called. I you all have, have seen it already. I think probably. I have ever Where does that blue, that whole obsession with the tone come from? That's a that's a that could be a thing. British thing, no? That's a, that's or is a that a blues thing? thing? That's a blues thing. No, t- wait, obsession with like what kind of tone? Like, guitar tone? G- with guitar tone, with having the sound, with I don't having know. that guitar. Oh, I mean, you no. would know you're outside that's of that's it. I mean, quality, that's very uh, quality and timbre of tone has been a thing since the first flute. Many thousands of years. ago. Yes, but in, I'm speaking in terms of rock and roll. You know. Okay. When when the Brits started doing uh, Laney and and Vox, they were like ACDC they were, they were, sound. Exactly. It must have been tone or related. Or their tone. They were borrowing, you know, elements from American rock and roll and the Americans, the American um, mm. how do you call it speakers? You know that the that the people who were playing gospel and you know, and what like, what's your take on going from the clean distort like distorting that speaker naturally, and then now we have amps that do it. You know, like when did it become like it went from it went from fucking the Kinks yeah, to the whole story with Van it. Halen, which is just pure saturated tone. There's actually a really interesting history of this. Yeah. Why are you hitting me? Because I love you. He's like passing it to violence. you. Violence. Yeah. It's not violence. Uh, I was surprised. Um, Therefore, it was violence. <laughs> well, there there was uh, surprise uh, element. So somebody claims to have the story where they they slightly like busted the speaker on mm-hmm. their amp. Yeah, and they played. It's Marty Robbins. It. Is that Marty Robbins? Yeah, I'll play it for you. It's cool. Yeah, and then there was sort of a separate thing I think that happened where folks would just turn their amps up all the way every show That's and just play That's until I do. Like it was overloading the amp and the tubes would get hot and they would have a distorted tone. Um, and then there was uh, Can't Get No Satisfaction. That's the one. Which is the first distortion, like, baked it. It's, as far as, like, the story yes. goes, the first recorded intentional uh, distortion, uh, yeah. distortion pedal, which, I'm told, was not supposed to be included in the song. Keith Richards was using it to write a horn part. It, well, the, the song. yeah, and anyway, that's true. That's they, I've heard that too. So it must ahead, be true. They went ahead and put it in the song and released it. And Keith Richards was like, "The fuck is the matter with you? Why would you do that?" And it only like changed guitar history well, forever. One of those first, yeah, there. Fun- that's distortion, baby. Yeah, but you can also hear how he's trying to go for a horn section. Well, the pedal was advertised to make your guitar sound like a sax. Well, there you okay, go. so hold on. It was a fuss phase or an Octavia. That's right. I've heard that too. Yeah, um, um, yeah. It was a fuss phase or an Octavia, but you, it was no, supposed to make your guitar. I, I have a fuss sound. Phase. It was, but it, it was like one super of those simple. It's just one button yes. and a. And knob. it was supposed to make your guitar sound like a sax. Yeah. And he was like, "Oh crap! What's um, that does not last sound like a sax? It's not very much like a saxophone. <laughs> that one actually kind of sounds sort of like it. it as did. much as you're gonna make a guitar sound like a sax, I think that's pretty accurate." And then this is kind of the vibe they were going for, I bet. Yep, there you go. Same, same thing. It's just yeah, but if it's you black want, music. Down, this is down, what I'm saying. Down, like, down, down. El, el, there really is like we have to take a look at this. Like, like Elvis was doing just doing black music. Was doing a black act as a white guy, and the I don't like the, that guy. the British 
you know, blues explosion was these kids playing, just like literally covering black music. Yeah. And we don't, I don't think we sit with that often enough and about like, like, we think of like uh, rock and roll as sort of this this like white. A thing lot of from people fifties, well, but it wasn't. Remember the Dave Chappelle John Mayer skit where they said electric guitar was white people. <laughs> I from the get go was like, yeah, huh? it's not no, true. it's not. It's I was like verifiably huh? untrue. I have a little message for the country that I that I love so much. Okay, what do you got? Which one? America. Oh, I love you. But do not make this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Gray beer in America. This is not one of it. That's why we, uh, we're okay. closing out with the Coors this Lights. This is not one of it. It's not. Just, I love people love not, it, dude. But they're is, just I know ideological. This, this is they, the most ideological fucking place. People love this shit. They sell more of these than anything else in the country. Bud it, Light, that light. Tastes, there's so many light shit beers. It tastes horrible, and it seems to bring the worst out of people. Yeah. It and doesn't it, and it can, it's, and like, it, it's like you can taste the dehydration. And I and when people yeah. start drinking this in like copious amounts, the yeehaw start getting like to a different octave in which I have to leave. <laughs> Something like that. So I have to leave. That's when, when they're going I, for I, the piggies. Oh no no no! I have to leave. I have to leave. I'm yeah, you have to get out of there. Ditch. Yeah. Yeah, I no. don't stay either. Yeah. All right, here's the solo. The first electric guitar. I was at, I was at your uh, <laughs> distorted solo right here. <laughs> Do you want to talk over it so it doesn't get demonetized? It doesn't get demonetized. I have a, I have a joke. Oh, it's a. Like I've never heard this. It's, oh it's shit! Like, that's a bass. It sounds like. Good, it, but there's a, a real six there's, string, four oh, string no, bass on behind it. That's a good tone. Do, 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 All right. Okay. Sweet, sweet. When did we stop? Then it goes back to sweet. I have a song. question for you two guys, <laughs> and it has nothing to do with it. Okay. Making fun of me. No, you're good. I'm not making fun. When did no Dylan is? Oh yeah, yeah, you would be. When did we? <laughs> he would be doing it. Yeah. We stopped making use or using this uh, these bases like the the, the Fender the stand-up the bass. Six, no, the fen- No, no, not the double bass. But have you seen in the '60s in when this kind of music was around? These used to bass that looked a little bit like a Jaguar, like a Mustang, kind of. And no, I don't know. Like a Jaguar. I can't yes. Think of it. And it was a six string. Six string bass. Six string bass, and it looked like a guitar. John bass. and Whistle. Fender six something. Oh, that's yes. what that was. The Fender John, six string, John the guitar bass, the, the baritone. Who used to play this a lot, all the time. How beautiful, though. These are beautiful. They look are at beautiful. this one. They're, They're amazing. Beautiful. They look like jazz. Like jazz. Look, look at the color. <sighs> look at the like color. Like Jaguar. I hate this. I hate this. Look at I hate, the, I hate the all switches. of it. It's very. You don't like it? I hate most of it. Now that I look at you it, you don't like the okay. plating. So I had to. I sell, liked it, and now I hate it. I had to sell my guitar. Oh, from look at here. this, though. You did? My, yeah, my 1971 Jaguar. Oh, let's look it so, up. Okay, so guess guess what? I bought it for guess how much? 1971 Jaguar. Yes. I don't with, know. With a 1971 case. I have no and idea. And the certificate. I bought it for 300 <laughs> Look at what That is not it. That is, that's definitely not it. $300. Dude, you had to get rid of this puppy? For $300, yeah. Damn. Haggard and in collaboration and used on pretty... Woo, she, she looks smooth, dude. Yeah, that she plays amazing. Like- I got it for $300. And I paid 500 because the guy didn't know what he had in his hands. That's the best. I felt kind of bad. So I was like, okay, I have 500. Yeah. And I'm just going to give them to you, but I'm still not Oh, it's playing. like this? It's this sloppy color? Or the sloppy shape? No, that's a jack stang. Ooh. I had a jack one, like the next one. This one? Yeah. Oh, that's real. Exactly that's it. a real big boy, huh? Are it's they big heavy. or no? It's wow. heavy. Look heavy, 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 heavy. Hey, this just looks big. Wow, I like the Stevie Ray Vaughan headstock right case. there. Oh, my gosh. Or the 70s. Oh, the 71. Yeah, it's the 70s fat boy headstock. That is a, that that headstock. Is a very... The fat headstock. Yeah. That, is, that is what I think of when I think of the bass guitar. Like, that's it. That's exactly it. That's the yes, one. Yes, that's the that's one. It's a guitar guitar, though. I got it for $300. I paid 500 for it. Yeah, you said that. I know. Like three times. I won't say it again. How much did you get this guitar for? $500. <laughs> How much did you pay? The guy. The How guy much was, was it worth? 300 Did the guy know that no, what he, he did had? Not. No, he did not. Damn, that it guy must amazing. not have known what he had. No, but like, what'd you it pay for it, though? 500 No. He was asking for 300 That's insane. It is insane. Did and he know what the, he had? Look at the price. <laughs> look it at the price. insane. Dude, that's tight. All right, let's go right into Rocks Talks. That's our next segment wait, here. Wait, can we take a pee before we... Yeah, let's do... Oh, here, here's a pee break. Let me give me a pee break. <laughs> can you say that like you're six? <laughs> can I take a pee first? All right, this one we're going to start with because this reminds me of Dylan. Um, as his parents, Watching when he wanted a piano, gave him a little toy piano. 
That's correct. All right, this is an Offspring song. Uh, yeah, I recognize this little cat keyboard. Oh, Belt McGee. Belter McGee. Any Offspring is hard. Is it? So I hard. I have sing. no idea. Oh, to sing? Yeah, it's just always up there. Yeah, it's always super high. I don't like the Offspring, to be honest. Oh, they're like my top. Really? They're in my top 20 somewhere. You don't like, like Bad Os- Religion Osprey better? Bad Religion. I don't listen to Bad Religion at all, no. Do you like punk? Um, it's not on my, like, zi- it's not in my okay, cause lexicon of the offspring zeitgeist. Of bang- the offspring of bangers. Uh, okay, so I've been on a punk, but like punk punk kick lately. And I've been listening to like hardcore stuff, like Minor Threat. Okay. And yeah. like DOA and Bad Brains. Have you listened to Bad Brains? I haven't heard any of this. Bad Brains. Is oh, you've fucking, heard DOA. You heard DOA. You heard DOA. I'm pretty sure. Or like Dead Kennedys. I mean, I've heard of all of them. I've heard yeah. that you've Jello heard their those, like the song that you might recognize. Who's the guy? Not know up? the band name of. But. Who's the guy that ended up that ended up like a mortician? He was super punk. I don't know. <laughs> He's a mortician now. You know the guy. Oh, Taylor. I Taylor Tanner from Tanner. He was super punk. He was in guitar class. Remember? Tanner's a mortician now. Oh, oh I don't know. Somebody said that. Somebody told me he was. I don't a mortician. know. I have no idea where that. Guy I'd is. believe it. I can believe that too. That's two on the nose. That was the Gigi Allen guy, remember? Well, I was like... He liked Gigi Allen? Oh, dude, was like he Kyle worshipped. and Patrick Gigi and Allen. Jesse. And Patrick and, and Jesse, yes. And Tanner and... Are you kidding? That kid, Zach. Yeah. Zach? All right, here's the next one. All right, what is... Are we watching the... Mama, Mama, she's killed a man. If you're not get seated, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. I like that last part. It worked. Oh, there, I, <laughs> I love that. There, I ruined it. So yeah, that was the, uh, there. Good. I ruined it on TikTok. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I like their. Arena. They do a lot of stuff. Have you seen Mossbot music? Uh uh-uh. uh. Is that on here go, too? Go to Mossbot. Let me show you. Let me show you some of the things. Like this? Do uh. Like, is this how you type it? Uh, yeah. He, you got to see some of these. Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to think of this song. Mm-hmm. Scroll down. Mm-hmm. I'll show you an example. Mm-hmm. Just scroll down. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, cl- click something where he's about to press the keyboard. How do I... <laughs> it, no, in the fucking thumbnail. Yeah. I don't know that one. Uh, yeah, keep going. Hold on. I like... Oh, I love this song, dude. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. I'm balling, I'm balling. <laughs> he messes with the pitch. It makes it ridiculous. That was just- watch, watch, yeah. yeah. That's my shout, yeah. Spending, I'm spending on my phone. Swing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, see? This song slaps, though. Why'd I have a song? I was young. I'm <laughs> young. <laughs> That's fun. I Some like of them that. are hilarious. I like he, Sometimes he just has uh, little John jump in and go, yeah. That's good. <laughs> I was into that. <laughs> so, so funny. All right. The next one we got here. <coughs> oh, another There I Ruined It. I don't know this one, but they're going to. That's Dua Lipa, man. Oh, this is Dua Lipa. Yeah. Come on, oh, man. Dude, I wish I knew the song, but it's... <laughs> what the fuck? The trombone stand. Dude, that's was, pretty good. That was the best part. <laughs> it's just this smear of a fucking trombone slide. 
<laughs> Dude, I liked that. That was funny as fuck. Uh, All right, here's another one. This is, laugh. this is by DJ Cumberbund on TikTok. Oh, no. It's immediately better. I like it. Don't give a fuck. Oh, wow. It actually fits the beat. I will not stop talking about my Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. There's just so much good in there. This is nutty. I've never heard this one. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. It's cool. That was awesome. I put my trust. That's really well made. That was really well made. You. Yeah. Shut up when I'm talking to you! Shut up! Yeah, dude, I just wants to scream. Yeah. Shut up! If you think I only do this when I'm on the podcast, you're out of your mind. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I'm not claiming that at all. He said it, Taylor just wants his podcast oh, so he can yeah, scream. Yeah, I was I like, well, he doesn't miss well, any you, opportunities. Now you put it in a microphone and listen to it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've already been doing that. Was, I already do that. This is just an extension, though. Yeah. All right, let's get back into it. That was Rocks Talks. Rocks is my buddy Kenny Warren. He's a bass player. Oh, he moved away. Kenny. First. Why He's do great. I? I know Kenny. Yeah, he moved to California to have a better life with his children. That, that was him doing that. No, he sent me those. Oh, okay. It's his curations. If you I was will. like, dude, what Kenny? Are you gonna leave me alone in here with the camera recording? Twenty-three. That is a bad idea. It's zero sugars, but it's got a, a touch of calf. Caffeine, a.k.a. lifeblood. Isn't it delightful? It tastes like trailer park. Mm, I love the taste of trailer park. That's what I identify with. Oh, that's like a good taste. That's like how, that's like how some of my friends' houses smelled. Yeah? It's Maybe like you that. should rap about it. Now I'm going to give you a beat. All See? Right. See, I, like, I can, I, that's why I can give you the beat. Because you know about the trailer Because of the pain. Okay, let me hear the pain. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh that makes me want to tell you all the truth about the heart in my booth. I put my heart in the booth so you don't get to see it. I don't want you to see it. It's my booth. Don't touch my booth. It's in my booth. Uh, don't touch my heart. It's in my booth. What? It's booth, boys. That's a game show. It's a game show I made up in my head, in my heart, inside the booth, in my heart, inside my game. Trailer park game. Dylan thinks the taste is unnecessarily close to a trailer park style. The private pile blows his head off. Spoiler alert. That movie's dope. You, you will, you, you, you are, you, you, you are, you, you. Your parents have any children that lived? Okay, we're back. Um, we didn't think of any hot, hot no. garb. Oh, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you like Pantera? I love Pantera. What do you feel? What do you feel about this new reunion thing? Which? Oh, was, owned, oh I'll tell only, you exactly what I feel. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, you set it up. Whose only original founding member is Rex Brown, of course. <laughs> Phil and Selma yeah, came later. Yeah, of course. But they, they're uh, they're talking about Rex. wanting. No, don't forget about Rex. Don't forget Dylan's about Rex. Dylan's over here popping his teeth. <laughs> don't forget about Rex. One time I bloodied and, your mouth that way. And and is that right? It's yeah. it's a Pantera cover band. You know, if I know Zach Wild and it's Charlie, like, um, what, I what's his name? Benante? Is that the guy from Anthrax? Right? I don't even know that. Part Zach of it. Wild. I mean, Zach Wild is great guitarist and everything, but uh, it's like when I saw, um, I saw Boston. <laughs> okay, Dylan. You know what I mean? Stop it with your phallic games. <laughs> and it was tight. I had a lot of fun because I was wine drunk. It was at a winery. This was... I'm sorry. Remind me what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, it's like when I saw Boston. And oh, it was just yeah. like one guy who like knew Steppenwolf. 
Like, he was there. And it was like, Boston or something. I sang backup uh, harmonies on one song. I don't know. It was just not Boston. Yeah. And it's like not Pantera. And, and you can't do that with metal. Now with a, yeah. not, it's, not, it's like a cover band if it's not all four guys. If it's four out of four, you know what I mean? If it's Chicago. Do you feel that way about Chains? Yeah. If yeah. I, that's why I'm, oh, that's I, why just, I, well, I just can't even. What's Chains? It's not lame. Chains is control. You should see pretty much. how, right, how the I, crowds react with Jerry though. It's pretty special. No, I know, but I don't. That's You've my, seen him, right? Yeah. yeah okay. I like Jerry Cantrell himself, but I like He's Lane. A, yeah, of course. I'm a Lane guy. We all however, are. however, there's no there's Mr. nobody that prefers. However, Duval, William Duval is yeah. very respectful. He's I awesome. do. I agree. Of, of, of Lane and and also in the new song. But I guess She's that's also exactly how I would feel about Pantera. I wouldn't go see him. I am going to see Alice in Chains next week. Absolutely. However, I would not see Pantera. Absolutely. Good point. Good point. Good point. I have seen Alice in Chains and it was great. So because I think it'd be respectful. There's something that. That doesn't really like not. go like is good with me and is the fact that as the same day or the same week that they announced that they were doing the shows and this tour rex brown and gibson came out with a new Thanks. signature base model of course they did because so it was like yeah. oh really not even a month before or after i, know. I always thought day. rex i always thought rex brown was in it for the music that's a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> it's and it's okay. I mean, it's okay if you're in it for the money. I mean, did you know? Here's I thought what you were going to ask me. What do you, what do I think about Dimebag Daryl and all his n words that he dropped before? Oh, and he's being canceled <laughs> after his shot on stage. Yeah. Please tell me, tell me what you think, because I also ha I also have a very. I didn't know that. Yeah, Steven told me about it. He, he was saying uh, there was a black guy that wanted to sign the guitar, and he's like, "Whoa, before I sign it, let's make sure the n can play." I'm like there's no way around that one he hated that was a hate yeah, crime yeah. I mean he obviously never I mean what are we surprised at he played yeah. with guitars that had the confederate flag yeah. Yeah. he was from Texas from yeah. like the deep yeah. Yeah. deep part of Texas it was the 80s and the 90s I'm not saying it was okay no For don't sure. get me wrong Same. however did we really none of us no. really say that every now and then you know oh for sure yeah yeah but not we, to a guy's face like not that. to a guy's face maybe but That's or maybe, the maybe not even us is he said let's like make our, sure that yeah or maybe play. our parents you also Hard have to R. remember i'm not i'm not justifying anything you also have I to know, remember know, that this guy was drinking what 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 did he call him black tooth grins yeah we like, drank those too baby why, he was like, why did he die what was the i forget he got the shot he quit, i know what happened he quit pantera and one of the fans hated that he won yeah one of the guys hated that and he just walked up and he started killing just shoot it. Yeah, he, took, yeah. he shot. Dimebag. Yep, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what happened. I'll always remember that day. That was sad. Yeah, day. yeah, I think it was the same day that John Lennon got killed, wasn't it? Like December eighth. Oh wow, I think I so. That. See, the trivia. I told you about the he trivia. He knows the trivia. Dude. All the stuff. <laughs> hey, that's how I earned my T-shirt at the Central. We were man. gonna put. Did we? Do we have a trivia thing for him? No, my game is way uh, okay. simpler All than right, this. All right, well we should do that. He'll but, still benefit yeah, was, from it. Telling Taylor. <laughs> He likes to come up with segments that kind of match the people who are on the podcast mm -hmm. today. And it was like thinking about what is Mateo. It's like the guy has encyclopedias mm -hmm. <laughs> of like alt, pop, punk, culture, tr just information. Right. Just like hard drives. Of, oh, wasn't Thank it the what oh, Didn't Dimebag Daryl die the same day John Lennon on December 8th? Like, Damn. Then we need okay. another guy well, know, for him to I know go Lennon, head to head Okay, against. okay. I know Lennon. I know Lennon got also killed. Also the day after Pearl Harbor. It's like you know it by <laughs> your your milestones of time exist as, along a, a music a history time. timeline. That's yeah, how I you just, relate to everything. That's how Taylor relates everything to music, but in a different way. You have the culture part of it. Taylor is just like, dude, like, are we having some like conversation about like, like, like relationship dynamics, like mental health? And then Taylor would be like, that's like... D -sharp. A six chord in the second inversion. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it it's is. exactly like that. And you can put a diminished chord in between inversions, and then you can yeah. just slowly go through all the inversions instead of killing your wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Like some people are always like, is it sharp 13, flat 13? You're going to kill your wife. Just call it what it is. It's a dominant chord. Speaking of. Do you know what that says? I I mm -hmm. I'm so I didn't I just realized that that's up there. I'm so proud. Oh, you didn't just realize. There. You realized it when you pointed at it. No, 20 I mean like ago. today. I oh like an hour yeah, ago. it looks good right there, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know what it says? Okay, hang on. I I do not read music. So I know that so. Crack the code. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, do you know what note that is? That's a s no. I don't know music theory. It's a B natural. Be natural. So it says. Be natural. Be natural. Mm. I got that at Equinox Arts Show. Oh yeah, it's a C. Yeah, year. B. No, no, that's a that's a time signature. It's in the key of B flat, but the B note has 
uh, the natural sign next to it meaning. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. a it's a B. So B in Spanish is C. Do re mi fa sol la si. No. Do re mi fa sol la si C do. It comes before too. The C and, was first, and, and then the we changed it to. And the letter really? C is do. But we uh, we changed it from C yeah. to something do, else. Re, yeah. mi fa sol I'm la surprised si. I didn't know that. That's uh -huh. awesome. Okay, now we're talking. That's kind of stuff we could do some trivia on. Some old school, just like music theory stuff. Oh, but that's just how we What is your game? game? What's oh, right, game? right. You just know that. Game? You want to play the game? The game is Musician Associations. I say the first name, and whoever says the last name faster gets the point. Ooh. Oh, he's going to win this. No, because I don't know a lot of like not, like current. Right. In the, I'm the guy uh, who made up the names. So. Oh, you made up know. the names. Okay. Uh, oh, you made up uh, the these names. Are my, no, no, no. They're real people, but they're people I would know because I uh, thought them up. Okay. All right. Charleston. So you guys banter for yourself. I'll I just came up with a few more. He just yelled banter yourself. Just banter! He screamed it at us. Dude, I think your dog ate something. No, it's just hot. It's, it's hot. It's, it's 90 hot. degrees. It's not hot. It's so nice out here. In here. This is pretty hot. No, this is pretty hot. Your skin doesn't like turn to crisp. Six no. minutes of being in the sun. And in about six months, I'll be like as white as you though. I lose my... My yeah, tan, like cool, yeah. like cinnamon, like yeah. passion cinnamon he color. No idea. <laughs> passion here's, here's cinnamon. Here's hey, it's called canelita like, pasión in Spanish, I'm so that translates to. Dude, I've heard the Colombians have a swag that we can't attain. <laughs> oh, I'm dude, not, hi, you don't know, man. <laughs> hey, puppy. You don't know shit. how white I actually am. You just right. you don't understand what it's like to literally get a second degree burn <laughs> oh. from the life giving star <laughs> in like minutes. You fix that mic. Like that's not. Fix how is mic. that an evolutionary advantage? It's what? Well, it is so, like white, like white skin. It just gets cancer all the no, time. No, it's like we can it's like. You guys are very good in the cold though. We can blend sun. in with the snow. <laughs> no, no not not, not only blend in, which is actually very we true. We blend in, but with also, snow. but you That's have not high it. tolerance for very high temperatures, which I do not possess. Wait, white skin? I, I, I mean, don't think that's low true. temperature. Sorry, I, low temperature. Oh, low, no. low temperature. Really? Let, there's the ta challenge then. Let's see who can be colder. I wish we could perform that because I'm hot as fuck right now. Oh, <laughs> no, man. but we will be able I... to. Let's see who'll do the coldest ice bath. And that's how we'll prove some Who's like white? <laughs> racial traits. Yeah. Like, well, we have this brown friend, so yeah. we got them both cold. And then he Joseph, can't even... <laughs> Joseph Mengele likes this video. Just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, nope. Exactly. That's and not I the kind of audience really we're looking like for. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really like the we met in a fun way. Jib. We met in a fun way about it. Um, <laughs> here's what I'll say about um, <laughs> pasty whiteness. Yeah. Is if it was late at night and we needed no, we had no car. I would go to the store safely because I won't get hit. Here's the thing: because my skin still. Glows I'm going in the to dark. say something. You know what is nice about it? Hmm. You get through TSA like <laughs> there we go. I mean, now, don't, don't get me into those get benefits. Into the, re the real benefits. <laughs> that is, uh, I don't, dude. No, yeah. You know what? No, there's not even. Yeah, I know. I don't even it's, realize the benefits. I, when I was a kid, I did not. I don't look like the kind of guy that would like steal things from a grocery store. <laughs> So that's like all I did. I so yeah, you're like I can totally abuse this power. I, you know, I wasn't deep enough to really think about like what's really going on there. I was just like, I nobody ever stops me because nobody's Dude, ever looking at what me. What did you like, steal? Oh, I mean booze, and beer. I thought you said like groceries. <laughs> no, no, no. I, just, I thought you meant with great power comes like, like a bag of great beans, broccoli, and jalapenos or something. Collard greens and I know I, there's no moral of the story. Pizza rolls. <laughs> I just never got caught because. Of the way I look. Yeah, I didn't even do shit. I just got stopped. Yeah, Still to always, this day. Get, I, I, get I will stopped. say, man, you you get you get hassled. I do. You do in in the puyallup. I take stuff. it lightly, though. I know you have your patience with it. It's not oh, I understand. Yeah. I, I don't judge. I, I know. Understand. I just said it sucks. It's just, I just hate it. It's, it sucks to see when it happens. That wasn't the right. I meant this. And he's like how he's got all the the, the chord structures over here. I know. It's a keyboard. That's really cool. Let's play the game. Let's, Let's the go. Game. All right. Musician associations. Round one is worth one point. Okay. So please explain again. Let's okay. So I'm going to say a name. We'll do a random. I'll just think of one right now. Okay. Chance. The rapper. That he would get one point. And I'm the judge. Okay. I come up with it. And if I... All right. He just jumped right in. Right. I thought you, I was gonna say dog. I know that's why I tried to trick you, and I did. I see. Okay. But he's got that Colombian charm. All right. Colombian charm. All right, it's go. also Colombian trivia knowledge. I gonna that might Colombian just be all you. ADHD. <laughs> that might just ADHD. be all you, dude. That might be a you thing. 
All right. So we ready for round one? Everything's yeah. worth one point. There is there's, no gonna there's usually like no. ask a friend, but usually you guys are gonna get these ones in round one. So here we go. The first one. Stevie. Wonder. Hey, Rayvon. <laughs> point. Oh, I see. Yeah. So if he doesn't say, he yep, doesn't yep, say yep, yep, yep. you keep going. So it's one to zero. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Question number two. Worth one point. Paul. McCartney. Point. I get one little cap. Yep. Here's and you get one cap. Oh, these are our points. Oh, shit. Sure are. All right. One to one. Question number three. Last one in round one. This one will be a little bit harder. Ronnie. James Dio. Dio. I think Dylan got it. Okay. He, he snuck in there quick, but yeah, you started it first it, and it. finished it first. So, If you start first but say the wrong one, you lose. So he, he would have had it if he said Ronnie... Glamping Glog and he fucked up. <laughs> I could have just said anything. I'd say that I'd mix up his name with Ronnie Glamping Glog all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he invented the Hibberga Jabberga Divero Lifter. No, that's not him. Oh, we know him. Same name, though. You know him. <laughs> that guy. Okay, that story for you that are just in intrigue about we that. We have it. We have it. I still have it. Do we it. tell that story real quick? Do you tell it? I think you should have it one day. Have the video? And just just that video. Just open with it? And just like talk, well show it. We won See, awards like, for that we video. We did, even with the camera smudge. High school thumb awards. thumb smudge on the fucking oh. Mr. High school awards with Mr. Crust. We had to go back and do it. Yeah, with Mr. Crust. Crust yeah. yeah, all that stuff Mr. Crust, out of focus because Jordan Crust, put his big thumb right on the He smoked a lot of leg. cannabis. I bet he did. Our our video productions teacher in high school. His last name was I'm Crust. I'm sure he did because when people mean? started saying that. <laughs> what do you mean? Because some people started saying that and they wrote it on the wall like Mr. Crust smokes weed or something like that and he was so hurt by that <laughs> it's like you like that, that really oh, it rattled him <laughs> it's like you no it seemed like it's, it's, it's like, like nobody that. knew i thought he thought no one knew could be but i Dude, no i remember him being like like his feelings were really man, hurt. he's like the pacific northwest I Jerry spent, Garcia. we spent a lot of time around him and i remember dude. when that happened he was just like oh, man it just <laughs> really bums dude. me out dude and i'm like that's something a stoner would say but i can exactly. leave you <laughs> <laughs> like he was—he seemed legitimate. I feel bad about that. It's like only the wait, man. not to bring it down, but I just remember like, <laughs> do you remember, wait, do you remember Mr. Crust like scissored you? <laughs> What? Like completely. That's kind of what I only remember about him. You got scissored by Mr. Well, he was the wrestling coach too. Oh, I didn't. So, Mr. Hey, let me. Yes. Let, hey, let me, uh -huh. let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me reiterate. Or, no, he was in wrestling. Coach. Well, let me at least iterate that I was not in wrestling. So. No, he just grabbed. <laughs> I was in day. video productions. We were talking. Regardless of what else he taught, I was in video productions. Grabbed you and like tied you in a knot, and it was pretty. Indecisive. He called him the nutter. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled my hand through. I'll show you. Do it wasn't know? good, dude. No, no, don't show me. No, he pulled. Oh, my yeah, hand through yeah. and nutted me. <laughs> And I was 16, 17, 18. And you're telling me he was not a stoner? Are you kidding? I know, he was probably high as fuck. I look no, back on that's that today and I'm like, that would that's be insane. a very big deal if that happened. Today. I wasn't even that embarrassed. I mean, I had a feeling of embarrassment, but I mean, I've been embarrassed in my life so many times. I'm embarrassed for you. I'm glad it wasn't me. It's because you have like a wrestler's buddy. Yeah, so he can <laughs> touch like, my balls? Oh, no, I think no, so he no. can fucking touch my nuts? Well, okay. <laughs> my nuts! <laughs> if you think he knew it, you were the least likely to sock the If you think about it, not to yeah, shit on the wrestlers, wasn't but it was if you fun. think about it, the whole wrestling thing, it's... It's pretty touchy, um, especially like... It's very touchy. Yeah, he probably you, didn't think he was doing it. You signed up to be on the wrestling Yeah, I did, did not sign. Your parents <laughs> make you sign Taylor up. Taylor was standing there. It was just... Now you're being wrestled. Yeah, I didn't like... No. Enjoy it too much. <laughs> no, it didn't seem like it. All right, round two. Round two. Round two. That was a tangent. Feels like smoke. All right, round two. I've got my sexy deep voice on right now. All right now. Okay. It is two to one. Mateo? I told you you were going to win it this. It is two to one, or Dylan has two to one? Yeah. Oh, Dylan, Dylan is winning. Two. Okay. I've got two. I wrote it down and still failed. Round two. Everything's worth two, 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 two points. Just came up with that on the spot. I'm great at coming up with games <laughs> and rules. All right, number one. Carlos. Mencia. Mencia. No. Oh, Santana. We both wow. said Mencia. <laughs> that is very sad. That's not good. That's not good. I know. That's not good. Mencia. We'll run it back. We got to like do it slow motion when you get to it. <laughs> I was like, who? <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, and then yeah. and Mateo got it though, well, so it's three is, two. When you think of Santana, you don't think of Carlos Santana. You think I of thought Santana. you would. I right before I said it, I was like, oh, this one's too no, easy. That's, you why both said, good, that's why it was a good of, one. That's why it's a two pointer. Because you think of Santana, not Carlos Santana. You know. Right. right. Okay. I, I, I see I, that I, argument. I, I've got. Well, two, you won. So. Got two points. Three to two. Three to two. Why three? You won two points. Two points. Keep up, Mateo. Gosh, can you even keep up? Oh, I'm three. Okay. I thought you were three. You have like three. that. I yeah, have that was two. Good. Okay. All right. I have two. Yes, and I have three. Question number two of round two. This yeah. one is also worth two. How much did you pay for that guitar? For a guitar, five hundred dollars. Oh how much? Did, how much was? It? Did he? Did, uh, three hundred. Did, did he, he even realize he, what kind of deal he, did he was getting? Not, he did not. <laughs> did he realize what he had? Thing. No, how much did you pay? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> did he real? Okay. Next one, Ronnie. J- I'm just kidding. Okay. The next one. What was it? Question two of round two. Yeah. Eddie. Better. Van Halen. Van I was Halen. first. Yeah, but he's Van Halen was the one I had written down. I don't. That's how the game works. That's the wow, game. That I'm the judge. Very arbitrary. It's not arbitrary. It's subjective. <laughs> it's not arbitrary. That's exactly what it means. <laughs> it's in the eye of yeah, the beholder. I'm winning because it's in the eye of the beholder. Four three. Nice. Woof. Woof. Better would have been a because good one. Because I behold the eye. Well, it's like Stevie with the wonder and then the... Re- yeah, it was, that's why I picked good names. All right. Ready? Yeah. Third question of round two. The last question that's worth two points. It's 4-3, Dylan. Yeah. Lindsay. Lohan. Buckingham. You said low, low, low She's hand. a singer as well. You're right. And that's the kind of mind you're going to need for round three. But Dylan won in this round in Lindsay this case. Buck- Who's thinking of Lindsay Buckingham? Dylan is. Six, Dylan three. was immediate was with faster. it. faster. Yeah, but he said that's the right not, one. That's, do you understand? I don't like this game. He doesn't get the game yet. I do. But <laughs> I thought you knew the game. But that's still an answer. I thought it was the It fastest. is an answer, but it's the wrong answer. No, it has to be it's not the, the musician that I'm answer. thinking of. We said Mencia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't get mints. And I still got some time. Yeah, I thought you knew the rules by round one. No, well, he's okay, fast. Go, he he, he sure ahead. is the fastest. Go ahead. It's the, it's the I, just, I, just, span. I just know. I just so want to let it, like, on the record, let it be on the record that I'm still coming up with names that are valid. I'm just not. Yes, no, no, no. And yeah, nobody, know the names nobody are valid. doesn't think that Eddie Vedder is a You're real guy. You're not understanding the game. I do understand. I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't agree with it. I don't agree with the game. Hey, don't don't worry, dude. You'll come game. on another time and I'll have a more thought out game. But this is the uh, game. We'll have a game where the, you have to answer in Spanish. And yes. I'll be like, yeah. this is unfair. Pablo. With Escobar. a singer? No, but that's not a singer. Oh, it wait, could that's be a guitar player. Pablo Londra, that's the same. Pablo Could Londra. Could be a guitar player, right? Oh, oh, oh God, is his name not Pablo? Uh oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm dying Pablo, up here. Pablo, the guitar player. The guitar player, Paco, oh, Paco it's Lucia. Paco Lucia. The one that we're talking about uh, earlier. It's not Pablo, my no, man. So, but he Lucia. got it. He, got, he yeah. fixed it for you. So but there, but we already, that's not points. I was just talking. Oh, um, the game, the round two had already ended with you winning, so you're at six. Six three. Three? Because I'm better at it. Okay, we'll go into round three. Oh, puppy. Okay, here we go. See, he's, 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 I'm focused on Oh, he wants he's to like, leave. Oh, he's puppy. growling. Hold on. You guys banter again? Oh, oh. yeah. Banter. Okay, let's finish this game. Mateo's going to hate this round. Oh. All right. Round three. Worth three points. Question one out of three. Here we go. Yeah. John. Lennon. Maca- uh, John. Paul Jones. Yep. Woo! You had no John. I froze. Like, you froze. He froze. froze like B Rabbit. He has got no John. No excuses though. Okay, I so can John Paul Jones and not John Lennon. And just like that, it's tied up. Question number two of round three. This one's worth three points as well. Are you guys ready? Get you. John. Bonham. Bon Jovi. Lennon. Lennon. Poa. Nice. Poa. Poa. Uh, I just mean that was good that you got it because you. Oh. So it's uh, nine to six. Mm-hmm. One more question, and then there's going to be a tiebreaker if you get it. But if not, you're just a uh, fucking loser. Uh, fucking loser. Here we go. S- nine to six. Slash. And the last I know. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just slash. Slash. Is. Sing. Oh, I have a joke one and a real one. Do you guys want the joke one? What? Okay, I'll give you the real one. Okay, what? The fuck? <laughs> what? I'll give you the real real question. Here it is. Ready? Okay. Bruce. Springsteen. No? Bruce. Iron Maiden guy. <laughs> I don't know his name. Dickinson. Dickinson. Nope. No? Bruce. I don't know. Bruce the Deuce. I don't know. Bruce. Bruce. 
McCoy. It's not Bruce Springsteen. Nope. No. Dylan needs to get this to stay in it. Mm. Bruce. And the Blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> Hootie and the Bruce Fish. Uh, Cobain. <laughs> Bruce Jackson and the Jackson 5. All right. Well, the answer was Willis. He plays a mean oh. blues harmonica. He does. And anyone who knows anything would know that. Of course. Uh, okay. True. Here's another one. Jerry Cantrell. Himself. himself. <laughs> Damn it. You guys knew that one was coming up. Yeah, Mateo wins no matter yeah, what we do. Win. Bam. All right. So right. Cara perra. Congratulations, dude. You won the game. Oh, uh, that was a victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> Keep up. I was just, just like, oh, he's... Uh, Mateo's first day Taylor's, in. He wins the game. Taylor well thought out game I played. Yes. Um, oh, this song is called Mateo. Because that's who's with us today. Oh, this song is Mateo. Took 47 minutes to drive two miles away. Mateo. And he's an American. Dylan, take a verse. Mateo. Bouncing around the room. Oh, Mateo. Mateo. Cute little man from a neat little land where a man can be a sexual man, a sexual man. Tell us about it. It is pretty, and there's birds. Actually, it's the place in the world with the most birds, bar like species in the world. Great life. Yes. <laughs> what else? And then the hook. Mateo, you're the fun boy in the land. Oh, Mateo, Mateo. All right, let's uh, let's close this out with a little bit of. Um, I asked people for music they wanted featured on a music podcast, and they sent me a bunch of stuff. And this is one of them, but it already has a ton of views, so we'll get it. We'll give it four more views. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right here. This is not exactly what we're looking for on this no, podcast. No, it's not. Um, oh. Only because it's clearly a, like. David. Produced to hell, and it's not interesting to listen to. David Smith sounds like a very drunk, fun kind of guy. Okay, we'll try this. David Smith, this is me. Like a drunk, cockney <laughs> Englishman. There you go. It's gonna call you lad. And it's on oh. SoundCloud. Oh. David Smith, for everything there ain't, there is 6 2 tw Wait, that's it. There. Oh, I don't know what it's four, called, but hey, let's give it a listen. Three, four. It's in A. I do like good. that. When I was just a young boy, my daddy said to me, Come and sit beside my son and listen carefully. Well, I know these words sound simple now, I'm a simple man. But I hope someday they'll help you understand. Okay, Leonard. Every cloud ain't got a Oops. He's good. Yeah, I like Every it. rainbow ain't got a far to go. No notes. Everything I like it. So my that's, what I, that's my vote. Five of five. Approve. Five. five. Band house approved. Nobody cares, but I just called the shit out of five of five. Yeah, five of five. You should have a designation for music you hear that will get the band house seal of approval. Oh, this is band house seal of approval. Number one goes to. You can take it. Let's see if he has any band. David one, Smith. This is all guitar. Well, that's the same song. My bad. I want some drums, you know, in harmonica or something like a full band. Wake me in an hour. That's what I want. Kiss me on my mind. You don't have to holler. Holler. You don't have to shake. Dude, he's honky tonking. I'll wake up a smiley. David Smith. 
Dude, he's good. Band House Seal of yes, Approval. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving this to Band House sounded, Radio. It sounded great. That was great. Yeah. Why don't we like this? How do you like fucking like something? Can't uh, even like it. Are you going to keep a list of things you've given the Band House Seal of Approval to? I might have to. This should. is only the second time you I have. issue seals. And just yeah. be like, you have been approved by We'll the start band that. House. We'll start that, yeah. This is Elena Norton. Hi, maybe this one would be interesting to use. As long as it's not like a game show or whatever that last yeah, one was. Um, that is going this to is a music be video, so different kind of judgment scale. T- t- turn up a Oh, 50 it's subscribers? Yeah, if they have less subscribers than we do, then definitely. Oh, sh- yeah. Why does this only have... What do we? What do we stumble into? <laughs> Just leave it. Don't touch it. I'm intrigued. It sounds like very produced post-punk. Like a very pro- produced Joy Division. And with pop. This is, uh, this has got to be in like the former Yugoslavia or Russia or something. That, yeah. that palace in the background looks like it could be Russian. Can you find out where they're from? Then, or then I'll look where they're from. I don't hate it. I think, I think it's, it's yeah. it's got its own thing to it. I like, I like unique. I like those two guys too. Interesting, uh, they were someone else. Riff, like, choice. Where are you from? Re- based in Latvia. Latvia. Okay. So okay. now it's not, not quite. It's yet. well, it's up there. It's out there in the east. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty far. Out. Latvia is pretty far from Fort. Ellen and Norton. It is, but it's fan far. house seal Band of approval. approved. Can we hit like I a? Approve that. We need like a sample that'll be like cock. Okay, maybe not that one. Cock. I like it when we I- just need to get you saying band house approved. Band yeah, and have a little dandly boom boom Here, what about this? Let's keep moving. Hirsch Cohen. Sweet. I like it. Seal of approval. I immediately like this. Yeah, yes. Approved already. Yeah. Unless the singing is really bad. Every time I say that, I just. It has to be very shitty. Nope, approved. It's approved. Dope. It's, it has to be approved. That's approved. What's the name? Shared Walls? God damn it, I'm looking at that right now. Yeah, yeah I added right it. Mateo's Alley. <laughs> this is good. Nirvana really chord good. This changes. Is doing, this is doing it right. Let's listen to the words. Chorus time, baby. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, Nirvana for sure, huh? It's good. Yeah, I like the lyrics. Yeah. I'm warming up to the idea. And the name the name of the song is Warming Up by Shared Walls. Nice. Good choice. Good Major choice. minor little uh, hook at the end. Okay, do you guys can, know anything can I, can about I house do, music? No, but can I do we'll a shout it, out? It's it's for it's an international. It's a Colombian lady that What do you got? It's called La Muchacha L A and Space M U C H A C H A La Muchacha. Yeah, Nuasara. She's from Medellin. She's amazing. Shout out to her. It's from where you're from. Yes. Stop, stop. 
Very, very cool. Wow. She's great. Uh, the words. She's singing. The, the it's a song. Are very, that, very good. Yeah. It's a, so it's a song basically about. Uh, this came out during the the strike, the paro. Yeah. In 2020, uh, a lot of people disappeared. A lot of people dead. Yeah. Whoa. Shot by the like the riot police. And uh, it's a song about somebody that's like standing or kneeling in front of, of a police officer that's aiming at them with, with the gun. And they're saying, I'm not scared of it. No asada. It, it's Colombian. It's a Colombian expression. I mean, no like, asada. I don't give a shit. Like, do whatever no, you want. No asada. So it's like, and what she's singing about, she's saying, I don't like those fierros. Those fierros are those guns. I have my claws. I can fight with my claws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a protest song and it's very pretty. It's, it's very powerful too. It is, dude. This is really something. La muchacha. Your evil masks don't scare me because I come here with the tough crowd and they don't buy your authority. We don't roll that. Homie, don't play that. And we, we like the wheat, we like the seed because you treat it as illegal. And we're indigenous and we strive to make the seed stronger because you say it is illegal. We have the power of the indigenous people. We can feed our own. So it's, yeah, it's like a protest song. Get it. What's above approved? Band house. Super Band approved. House, super duper. Wow, duper. she's great. Seal of super approved. Thanks for showing me her, Mateo. She's great. You know I like me an angry protest folk singer, man. Yes, and she's very angry. This folk is singer. my this is my jam right here. You like this that? Is very, yeah, very I'm, good. I like the camera work too. You didn't even notice it, but it went everywhere. Yep. Yeah, she's great. Here they go back in. Dude, the tone, relaxed ah. Boom. That tone, dude, up high. Ooh, she's great, man. Just powerful as fuck. Yeah. What is she saying right all there? Because in this land that is so mine, I do not have a need to suck your bullets. Tight. <laughs> it's literally what it translates to. Tight. This is my land. If you're going to shoot me, shoot me in my land. I ain't going to suck your bullets. Yeah, that's great. Wow. La muchacha. Woo. Lazada. Five stars. Lazada. Ten stars. Lazada. 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 Yeah, and I'm no Azara. Lazada. No Azara. No Azara. That was that was great, Mateo. La muchacha. Hey, huh? hey. She's amazing. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. That was she's that was uh, that was a cut above everything else we've heard so far. That was really something. Well, yeah, that's else. not that was that wasn't yeah, posted from Facebook. <laughs> that was yeah, Mateo's yeah, okay, thing. Okay, I got it. That the was, thing is, this the thing is, she came out above, and, wow. and, and the protest yeah, and the I can, strike. I can tell you very. I know exactly what I'm looking at. That's During the strike, that is when that she came out. Artist, she is is, is universal. Yes. In the world, there, yes. is, there is that person for every struggle like that, and in period, that's yeah. very good. Have you? I have about twenty songs, about three number one hits. Yeah, I saw that. Send what does me that one. mean? Just send me one then, and why? We, yeah, the number one hit where? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Wait a minute. Doesn't mean shit. And if it does, then they don't what? need our help to, pro to what is send the song. <laughs> Pretty sure number one hit has a definition. This is nothing. No, Look I at mean, this guy, though. Did like you read this one? He really one gets gone. Who sees your list? What, what is oh, it? Wait, 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 wait let me read. Let me you read. guys like this? This is Who good. This? Name some stars you've helped. Why are you doing this? Are you the music business? Oh, wow. Well, that guy. We should get that guy on. We should get. We, wait, we need to get that guy now. Okay, we got Spotify. He's just like, why are you doing this? He's like, who have you helped? Are you in the music industry? Yeah, it's weird. He's definitely a special boy. Yeah, that's too bad. Why really is, cool why guy. So, why is he so angry? Mad at Taylor for asking to see independent artists. To promote music. independent artists. Why is... La Rota Dalla. Official video with 10,000 views. We'll like and subscribe. I heard it. I heard that it was good, so I liked and subscribed. But now let's really listen to it.
Better have a banger chorus. I like the groove a lot. Ooh. Those bends are nice. Yeah. This little pre chorey She's good. Oh, that's cool. That's good. The closed captions help. <laughs> Do they? I just said music. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. More music. Also, what else? I'll give him some love with this one. Oh, it's minor. Four. <laughs> Six. This is like some Daniel Johnston stuff. This is amazing. I don't know. I don't know that. Daniel Johnston? Uh uh, I'm not familiar. But he must be good though. Because this is the shit. Counting the foods? Get some, dude. What did you say? Sick. I love it. Home run. Man Can I go back approved. to the intro? I like this. <laughs> yeah. Gardening, gardening. Gardening, gardening. So you know what the song's about, and then the first verse, first line. Going garden. So good. Yeah. Dude. So good. I love shit like Home that. Home run. Good songwriting. Good Fade beat. Approved. Good topics. Accurate Very songwriting, to gr- sick to hook. Food um, this is Jerry Roberts or yeah, Jerry Franco Roberts. Approved. Approved from West Bridgewater High School. Wait, he's only a kid. No, I think he. Gra- that's the last. Why would they I tell just, him? Oh, you're, went. You're, your went. Facebook says Governor John O. Rogers High School. I just asked you about it a second ago. Well, yeah, why would? It, why is that even relevant at all to anything? Because Facebook is the last was, thing. That's the, the last thing I've done with my life. Not only that, but <laughs> Facebook. Oh. Okay, well, I like yeah, Jerry true. Roberts. Growing in a garden is fun for me. Yeah, it's good. Growing in a garden. Okay, well, let's wrap it up. Let me pop back over there for. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed yeah. Bandhouse this week, that's because it was Mateo Nobody that brought the it. heat. Nobody enjoyed it, dude. Our podcast, where me, you, and Stephen just showed our legs and talked about fetishes the whole time, has the unfortunate. No, Most that sounds weird, very fun. That's and Eric, sad. Eric uh, Archie commenting goes. To be honest, I like that episode. <laughs> I was like, Why? I don't That's know. The worst it's one. The embarrassing one. Just watch it's, that. It it's way not, worse than this one. It was not fun to film. No, we were so hot. This <laughs> is way like more fun to film. Degrees, like, <laughs> but anyway, I shouldn't have done this. Mateo Arteratura. How do you say his name? Arteratura. I I'm not fluent conversationally, but if I went to Colombia or Mexico or something and like. Had to do it. I'd probably, probably pick up. I took eight really years quick. of it, so like I can understand everything that La Muchacha was singing. La Muchacha. No. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you'd do good. What do you mean? I don't know, but that's what Stephen would say. Oh, I see. No. No. I don't think you could. I think that you would <laughs> flounder. I don't think you would have a good time. Uh, but I mean, I understood, I understood what she was singing about, which is. Yeah. Cool. I forget that I know enough. I could hear some words. <laughs> yeah. I know some of those words. Yeah. Some words. Mateo speaks five languages. I could tell you were speaking some German. Uh, English, Spanish, German, French. A little French. A little French. Yeah. And I what understand else? Italian and Portuguese just because I speak Spanish. Spanish and Portuguese. Because you speak Spanish, you can understand Italian and Portuguese as well. Yeah, it's pretty close. And Papiamento. Italian and Portuguese? Yes. That's cool. And Papi that they speak like in the coast, the Caribbean coasts. Right on. Te- Te- gonna buy me an expensive dinner after this. Spend, uh, Ooh, I'm, gonna him, nice. I'm gonna make him a sandwich. There's some really nice chicken that. You know. I don't know. Maybe we'll get something on the way. Uh, 
Timothy Caesar said. Yeah, that's tight. Well, on this episode of Band Hills, we talked about learning new instruments. We, we talked about... <laughs> we played a shitty game where I did music associations. Mateo won. He hated it, but he still... Yeah, won. Mateo ha- disagreed he still with the That's just it's how I won. do. That's Steven style, to hate the game and then wipe it. The clean house. Yeah, he is. And, uh, well... Whatever, we're just three buddies shitting around, fucking around, telling stories that people don't have any context about. Man, you and, should keep uh, having Mateo back. He's nudging a lot buddies. Of stories. Yeah, we we got into stories Mateo about that SG that was attacked by the police and also was used as a weapon to oh, batter, yeah. to batter someone. That's pretty dope. At a show. Yeah. So now it's cherry blood red finish. It got it got a little like a little. How do you call it? Okay. I don't know, but if you guys have any guitar war stories, send them into bandhousepodcast at gmail.com and we read them out. I do want to do a read them out section, you know? That'd be pretty cool. Send in your craziest stories if you guys are roadies out there and you have guitars that have been through anything, even if it's not that interesting. Like guitar life stories? Yeah, like your guitar lifespan, anything crazy, like, oh, this guitar met the president and got COVID. Uh, Anything worth mentioning. (laughs) This guitar started COVID. I unfortunately did not have This guitar guitar fucked that bad. Yeah. Started COVID. (laughs) This guitar... (laughs) 